Chapter 3 Logical Reasoning 3.1 Statements So in this lesson, you're going to learn how to determine the truth value of converse, inverse, and also the contrapositive of an implication. So this is from, your, uh, from the textbook. So if you try to remember uh, this, this thing without understanding it, uh, this table will be a bit compu confusing. So I will teach you how to um, understand it, okay? So let's see the first implication. So if P, then Q. We need to rely on these two rules, okay? So the first rule and the second rule. Okay, let's see the second rule first. So if the antecedent is false, antecedent means P. Okay, the front part, okay, the if part. Okay, if the antecedent is false, then this whole thing will be true. Okay. If this is false, this whole thing will be true. Okay. Let's go back to rule number one. Okay, if antecedent is true, so if this one is true, this thing needs to be true for this whole thing to be true. Okay, so if this is true, this is false, then this thing will be false. Okay, so you need to see the antecedent and the consequence. Okay, so for this table, okay, if P is false, okay, if P is false, okay, so no matter, you don't need to see the consequence, okay. You don't need to see the Q because no matter if it's true or false, since your P, your antecedent is false, this thing will be true. Okay, based on rule number two. Okay, so rule number one, P is true, right? Q need to be true for the implication to be true. Okay, so if the consequence is false, then this implication is false. Okay. So let's see, we, will, we are going to see about converse and inverse and contrapositive. So for converse, if Q, then P. You don't need to be confused by this. You need to see the antecedent. Antecedent is Q, right? So for Q, if Q is false, then this thing will be true. So Q is false, this whole thing will be true. Okay, so if Q is true, P needs to be true. Both true, then it will be true. If your consequence is false, if the P is false, P is consequence now. Okay, so the whole thing will be false. Okay, let's move on to the next one, inverse. Okay, inverse is if tilde P, then tilde Q. Okay, so not P then not Q, that means inverse. So not P, we see the not true, okay? So true become not true, that means true becomes false. So if this thing is false, this thing is antecedent, right? If this thing is false, the whole thing will be true, based on rule number two, okay? P is false, P is false, but your antecedent is not P. So not false, the thing become true. Okay? And then not true become false. So false, the whole thing will be false because the consequence is false. Okay, not false become true. So this is not false, this is not false, this is true, this is true, so this will become true. Okay, let's see the last case, contrapositive. If Q if tilde Q then tilde P. So not Q, right? Okay, so not true. Not true is false. Your antecedent is false, that means the whole thing will be true. Okay. Not false. Okay, that means true. So not false, not false, it becomes true. Not false, not true. That means true, false. This will be false. 
Okay, so in conclusion, I make a table for you. Okay, so if the antecedent is false, you don't need to see the consequence because it's true will always be true. Okay, if it is true, it need the consequence need to be true to be true based on rule number one. If the consequence is false, the truth value will be false. Okay, so that's the lesson for today. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. You may also go check out the Facebook page and blog for more learning materials. So thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson.